hello everybody hello hello and hey i hope that you're all doing well welcome to the month of february it's already 5th of february but hey who is counting <laughs> so guys i received a gift towards the end of the year last year which happens to be a book and i got hold of this book only last week wednesday can you imagine guys so because of one thing to the next i couldn't get, um, get hold of it on time and i really do believe that god wanted me to read it at this specific time because god does nothing for that god does nothing just 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 like that so everything god does is for a reason and every situation we go through every hurdle every burden everything is for a purpose and hey let me introduce to you a book called purpose in pain written by prophetess michelle links yes 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 guys this book is really 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 good i'm not only hyping this book up because it's my spiritual mother that wrote this book but i'm hyping this book up because i have read christian books i don't read any other i don't read any other uh books anymore but i do read christian books and most christian books that i read i would say some of them i would get bored along the way because it sometimes becomes like oh storyline and whatsoever but in this one is that the storyline doesn't take um doesn't take over in the book everything takes you back to the presence of god takes you back into scripture reading takes you back into this and that like everything is quite holistic and um for anyone i think this book is for everyone because should you be going through um a situation should you have someone that is going through uh, a pain or going through one situation to the next this is a book you could read and i do believe that if it's not relevant to you in this season it could be relevant to you in somebody else's season for you to know how to help them so yes purpose in pain is such an amazing book i loved it for the fact that scriptures if, if you don't like to read the word of god this book will make you read the word of god you will discover like you will discover scriptures that some some of them you did not even know some of them you did not even understand the depth of them so it felt like i was reading and i felt like it was a bible study more or less so yeah going through one situation to another this book is really powerful guys and i'm just gonna read out to you well i've i've done i've, I've really circled certain things i'm gonna read to you something um, I'm going to read out to you something, well, there's different um, chapters here, but I'm going to read out to you something that she wrote on real relationships because I believe we are in a season where we are in a season in this world right now where people do not know how to decipher a relationship, to decide, yeah, to decipher what are good relationships and bad relationships. And um, it says here, when you are aligned to the wrong relationships, we cause a delay on our destiny timeline. Some of us are not seeing the fruit. We're not seeing where God is taking us because we are surrounded by wrong people. Because we are in wrong relationships. We are in 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 in, in bad yes in wrong relationships in, in in bad company. Hence, we cannot see. We cannot experience what God has for us so if you're not surrounded by good people this these wrong relationships can cause frustration and set you back for years do you want to be set back for years no can do <laughs> and another beautiful thing about this book is how open how genuine how i could feel like i was reading the heart of the author that's that, that that that's how beautiful it was and for many for, for okay i would say from my background yeah many pastors wives are always portrayed most of the time yeah they are mostly portrayed to have this perfect life perfect everything perfect that but i loved her vulnerability how she was willing to open herself up knowing well that the st her story she's telling her story an imperfect story that god used to deliver many people many people are living in hiding but through this book i discovered just how beautiful it is 
to really break through break break out of that um hiding place break out of that situation and really get to live a purposeful life that you are destined to live so yeah i'm not really sure what situation you are going through right now i just want to encourage you um that i don't know what situation you're going through right now god can use your purpose god can use your pain for a purpose and just be careful on the relationships that you you surround yourself in be careful of the lies believing the lies of the enemy be careful of of of, of wallowing in self-pity in self-condemnation when you wallow in self-pity and self-condemnation in offense in unforgiveness you will not experience the beauty you will not experience the goodness you will not experience the favor and the greatness of god in your life you could be going around in circles saying, God, you have not been doing this, you've not been doing that. But that which is making you anxious is that which is holding you back. God has called us to, well, when you are a child of God, when you have an active prayer life, when you make his word the standard for your life, you will know that this right here is beyond my my pay grade <laughs> this right is beyond my thinking and where the thinking or the reasoning of a man stops that's where god's reasoning takes over so it is very very important that we really be, become cognizant of that and choose to have a different month of february choose to sow differently choose to thrive differently choose to to do great to do to be great you know so i am very 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 happy it says cocooned for a moment but transformed for a lifetime it is up to you for how long you want to be cocooned it is up to you for how long you want to be cocooned because when you decide that it is my time to break free it is my time to break free from the shame from this limitation from this uh, affliction that is when you're going to break free and you will see just what God can do for you. So, guys, this book is a must read. Please go and read this book by Prophetess Michelle and you will not be disappointed. Please um, um, DM me if you're interested and I will give you the details on how you can get the book. <laughs> Stay blessed, guys. Bye.